Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing? I'm doing alright. Alright, I want to update you guys on the tensions rising between the Oregon militia protesters and locals protesting. Uh, there are two groups of protesters which are said to probably be clashing very soon. Um, in what respect? I have no idea. Probably none. But where there was one protest supposedly by the Rite Aid, what was it, 45 miles down from the uh, refuge, I, I said yesterday, there are now two independent um, protests, each one supposedly with dozens if not hundreds of supporters, um, one for, one against the refuge occupation, one by the militia, one by the locals. Um, and it's really funny, one of the um, Twitter feeds says, oh look, they're in it for the long haul, they brought coffee. So it's actually kind of funny. Now this is getting uh, so much PR. Uh, so, anyways, folks. This is all pretty good. And I'm trying to get to everything that's coming up. but so. A lot of them are, you know, back and forth on this issue, back and forth on that issue. Um, local residents have obviously had enough of the of what's going on. You know, some are just displaying signs on their on their property. Other ones are basically actually um, going out in protest. Um, one protest by the townspeople are saying stand down leave our town which is pretty catchy on the other side of town the Oregon militia supporters are protesting the media pointed out they have more flags than the locals uh, but anyways so supposedly either per group or both groups included both protests included Hundreds have supposedly shown up. I don't know if this was over a two-day period or what, or if this was yesterday and the day before, or if this is today, but hundreds have shown up and numbers are growing. Uh, everybody will keep you updated on this story. Until then, enjoy some fine tweets from the reporters at the scene. Uh, somebody supposedly has snacks. <laughs> Uh, posted on Twitter by Molly Young. Uh, this guy has, has a sign, I have snacks, H-A-Z. Uh, Molly Young also posted, the locals are in for a long haul. They brought coffee. It shows a little uh, stand you put together, uh, and they have coffee mugs on it. Uh, Corey Shellman of Burns is only mounted Oregon standoff or hashtag Oregon standoff protester. His horse prize isn't sure what to think. Uh, they talk about the sheriffs being there. Protesters wanted to move a dramatic appearance cutting through the Oregon standoff crowd. Eh. So they have a baby there. I guess there was a two-and-a-half-year-old at the time. The crowd now chants, go home, go home, go home, met with shouts from Oregon standoff supporters. Uh, somebody by the name of Tim Gordon on, on, on Twitter, rather. So there's Molly, what is, what is her name? Molly Young and Tim Gordon. You guys will see this in a minute. It says, lots of American flags flying and burns. Hashtag uh, Oregon standoff at... KGW News. So, there's a lot here, folks. I'm scrolling up so I can show you what's going on. So, this is real. This isn't conspiracy. It isn't conjecture. People with signs that they're putting up. I'm not going to run the video. You guys can do that when I give you the URL at the bottom of the description. Uh, yeah, the Oregon militia supporters protesting media pointed out they have more flags than locals. 
I Had Snacks by Molly Young. Locals are in for long haul. They brought coffee. Sheriff, you know, doing guard duty. The two and a half year old I talked about. Isabella um, Goldsworthy, two and a half, is the youngest face in the crowd, supposedly. Uh, da, 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 da. So, as you can see, whoever's running the dog and pony show is getting quite a bit of followers. Um, some said they're worried that the uh, two protesting groups are going to basically start clashing with one another, which is probably what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know really what's going on that two groups are independently protesting. I mean, I, I understand the facts that, you know, protesters want them to leave, or the locals want them to leave, and then the other ones by the Oregon militia, among other people. They're basically, you know, against what's going on in the land dispute and everything else. So I understand the sides and everything. But tensions are rising fast between Oregon militia protesters and locals. There are supposedly two independent protests, quote-unquote, that haven't been funded by anyone, yet there's hundreds of people all of a sudden involved with no prerequisite of them telling us where they met, how they got together, who's involved, why it's there, whether or not they have permits to do the protests. So, if you ask me, it's all organized. It's all organized by government. I'm sorry, folks, that's the way I feel. If you can't tell me that it was done by, say, the Burns County Commission of... I don't know what, and that hundreds of people have taken off of work, or that this didn't happen during work hours or something along those lines, like this happened between the hours of 3 p.m. and 9 p.m., then I would have been fine. But the very fact that little details in between like this are missing from this kind of speculate to me that it isn't exactly within the public trust that we should begin to believe the the information provided us. Yes, I understand there are protests going on. Yes, of course, the locals are angry. Yes, of course, this. Yes, of course, that. But at the end of the day, it honestly sounds like a peaceful Ferguson protest by the same people who sponsored the Ferguson protests. Saros and his management groups thereof. You can complain all you want. That's the way I feel. They don't tell you who sponsored these locally. They don't tell you how they came to be. Long list of other details. It's just all of a sudden two protests showed up and hey, look at this. One for, one against. Yay! <laughs> it's like the two-party system, folks. Hmm. Wonder what's going on with that. Thank you.